Hello once again, art lovers, and welcome back to Figure Study, where we appreciate the form in Transformers. Today, I wanted to take a look at Combiner Wars Ultra Magnus. Now, this is actually the Takara version. Uh, I forget the number. It's like LG 20-something, I think. Uh, basically, I got this version for myself because I just I liked the color better. <laughs> he has you know a little bit more paint, a little bit more painted uh, detail, a little more, just more color to him. So I went with that. So just keep that in mind if you are appreciating what you see uh, when I'm talking about this piece, that uh, this is the Takara version, not the Hasbro version. The Hasbro version is less, less painted, I guess you could say, or painted differently. We'll go with that. Anyway, so... Here we've got Ultra Magnus in his classic car carrier mode. And I thought this was a very strange rendition. Um, I mean, from a distance, it looks very interesting. He's got this nice, sleek, futuristic, but still somewhat Earth-ish looking uh, cab. And, of course, the back part here where all the vehicles go. The back opens to allow cars and such to drive up there, although it's a little bit awkward and it goes into separate sections, so it's kind of, eh, it's not that great, but that's fine. He looks good, though. From here, he looks, you know, he's, he's obviously Ultra Magnus. Um, he's, you know, got like a little bit of color up here to just kind of set that, keep that white from looking too terribly stark. A little bit of red here to keep this from looking like just a big sea of blue. Some nice silver paint on all the wheels. And some nice silver details in the cab. I really like that silver and the black for the windows really pops out there. This bit of red plastic is a bit of an eyesore, but eh, what are you going to do? And then the white from these bars up top show through on the front of the vehicle cab there, which is or trailer, which is nice. And it's got a decent amount of paint on the back here, which these are obviously robot shins, but eh, what are you going to do? <laughs> It'll look more interesting in robot mode. Now, the reason I say from a distance it looks you know, total, like a totally normal Ultra Magnus is because when you get in close you start to notice that um, if this is a normal human-sized door, then this truck is enormous. I mean, like, just this cab is basically like, what, a three-story building? And then, and it's not just the cab either. If we uh, go along the side here, you can see there are like these little tiny human ladders... Another ladder here and another tiny door. I mean, he's like he's like aircraft carrier size, basically. He's just gigantic. Either that or he's piloted by a bunch of cats, which would be awesome. <laughs> just having like little cats walking through there and uh, piloting this giant big rig looking thing. Anyway, yeah, it's, there's some really just lots of little molded details all over this all over this truck mode which is really cool but it's just proportionally it seems really really off like just with those doors just and there's another one it just seems like he'd be huge like ridiculously huge and these unfortunately don't like to stay perfectly straight but eh it's the best I can manage. So yeah, he's he's got a really cool design. Just the sleekness, the semi-futuristic look of him. It almost makes it look like a concept, like a, a drawing board concept of a car carrier. Just like this sloped roof. The I would say tiny windows, but if we're looking at <laughs> if we're looking at that door for scale, these are like 
ocean liner size windows, which means this grill is probably like two stories tall, <laughs> which is ridiculous. We've got some really nice detail in there too, including the tiny, teeny tiny Autobot logo. And yeah, he is just very, very neat in this mode. He does have a few shortcomings in my eyes. Um, like I'm not a fan of how this this piece here, it just makes this weird kind of divot. And like from an angle, from a distance with this lighting, it's not that standout-ish. But yeah, there you can kind of see it's like this nice flat platform area here. It's like a little gap there, but no big deal. But then suddenly, oh my God, it's a crag. It's like Grand Canyon right in the middle of a truck. And it does, it fills in that color. So you just kind of go from blue to blue, which is, it's nice, but it's just, if this were flat, it would look a lot better to me anyway. But that's okay. It's the overall shape that people really look for with Ultra Magnus in, you know, in his car carrying mode. And it's, that's what you get here. You even get some nice uh, rotation here so you can set him up, make it look like he's actually driving somewhere. And overall, I think this is just a really, really nice, just in this mode, it's a very nice looking piece. Lots of little details, lots of, lots of big details, some nice little uses of color. It's a little sparse, but it looks pretty good. But the real way he shines is in uh, when he transforms into a robot. And we're going to take a look at that right now. And here we have Ultra Magnus in his robot form, and this is where all the color really shines. You can see he's still, you know, the back of the truck is definitely his shins. That hasn't really changed much. The only real difference is that these feet have come out a little bit more, and now you can make out a little bit more of the uh, nice gray-silver details in there. He's got... What was once the uh, that gappy mess in vehicle mode is now a really nice, detailed-looking uh, chest piece, which actually, and I know other people have pointed this out too, but it's really cool how the cab folds in to make his chest, and then when this comes up, you can see right here, it actually uses the lights of the truck cab as detail in the robot mode chest, which is really nice. It's a really neat, uh, really neat detail. Uh, Paint-wise, he also has just lots of little bits picked out in the center here. Uh, his legs are a nice red that matches pretty well with uh, the center here. And he's got the typical Magnus white and blue arms with uh, these tiny Autobot logos up there. And now it's a little difficult to see because I can't get the camera quite high enough, but uh, lifting it up here a little bit, you can see that he's got these really tall extensions on his shoulders, and that's where you really get to see the yellow in there that helps to break that up just a little. And his backpack is basically wheels. But yeah, the uh, you know the backs of the, the sides of the truck now cover up the backs of his legs, so it hides a lot of that gappiness. You can still see some of that detail, although I would not want to be climbing on those ladders right now. Uh, but you could still <laughs> you could still reach those ladders. And it's interesting too because really most of these details were visible when he was in a truck. Um, the the forearms here, this section of the forearms you couldn't really see, but this was actually the top of the truck mode. And these would actually come forward and cover those up, so that's why most of this was actually visible already. So like, the only details that have really been added are the thighs, the midsection here, and his head. Sorry, and his head. <laughs> Keep, I need to remember he is a very he's a pretty tall guy. So 
most of this is just truck detail, but just the way that like this little bit of color here gets added and this color here and the way that the silver and the, the lights from the truck cab and the paint on the shins here, the way all of that comes together, it really nicely breaks up the color. He's got a really nice sort of stoic shape to him. He's got these very large feet, which go even further to imply that he is a massive dude. His face... <laughs> again, difficult to get in here, but... Uh, he's got a nice... nice-looking face. He's a... Uh, White antenna, a little bit of a little bit of gray on the inside there, which is nice. And then he's got these look like aviator glasses almost, but they're such a light blue, they're very difficult to see as a separate color than the gray. They almost kind of pick up the shininess of the gray. I feel like I don't know, maybe a slightly different color would have bit would have helped to make his eyes pop a little bit more, but overall color wise, he's good. Molding wise, very, very nice. I mean it's really fascinating to me how this piece goes from what is ultimately a big empty truck. You know, it's like it's a cab and this big empty car carrier, and it just kind of folds in on itself, compacts, reshapes itself, and now suddenly it's a very solid-looking humanoid figure. It's very, very nice. And an added detail, which... Uh, I just want to point out, because I think this is really impressive, how... Now, supposedly, in the comics, there's a thing where Ultra Magnus dies, and then, like, another another little guy comes in and, like, starts basically wearing him like a suit. I don't know. I don't follow the comics. I know, sacrilegious. I just really like the... <laughs> I'm in it for the, uh, for the figures, not the, uh, not the story. But what's interesting is the little dude does come with him and here he's in the vehicle mode I'm not going to bother showing him off because really it's all about Ultra Magnus but he does come with him and he can sit inside his cab and the reason I think this is really worth showing off even though it's not really something that you necessarily see is just the amount of detail that had been put into this cockpit area I mean it's just there's so much little detail that unless you even, <laughs> like, you really only see it temporarily during transformation when you take out his head. But it's just, it's fantastic the amount of detail that they squeezed into this little thing that you're not necessarily going to see. It's really, really impressive. I mean, it's it's partially tempting to have him displayed like this, just like, you know, he's waiting for a pilot actually looks really cool <laughs> but you can also you know fold him up put down his head and fold up his chest and now he's ready to ready to smash stuff he is just a very very cool very cool piece there's just enough truck detail that stands out that you can kind of tell what he was but at the same time he's not loaded down with truck parts. He just sort of, you know, he's got like this little bit back here, but and, like he's got the wheels at his feet, but really he's, he doesn't necessarily scream, I transform into a truck, which is really cool. And I do really appreciate the added paint in this mode, specifically the red thighs. In the, uh, the Hasbro version, he actually has white thighs. And I believe his uh, shins and feet aren't painted quite as much. Like, this is still blue. These, I think, are white, but they don't have this added detail. And just that little extra bit just really makes him pop. It's very nice. And I enjoy him immensely. Even though he's, you know, kind of simple and hollow, he's, he's very cool. It's interesting, too. I don't own the Masterpiece version of Ultra Magnus, but apparently, uh, from what I've seen, the transformations are surprisingly similar, just in an overall sense. It's one of the reasons why I've held off on getting a, a, multi a Masterpiece Ultra Magnus, because he's expensive. This guy is about a third of the price, 
and uh, he's, in my mind, almost equally as cool. He's just very, very nicely done. Very nice. He is... He is a guy that I can definitely appreciate. And if you're an Ultra Magnus fan, then I think you'd appreciate him too. Anyway, that has been my look at the Combiner Warriors. Well, okay. Sorry. Because it's a car version, not Combiner Wars. The Unite Warriors Ultra Magnus. Uh, if you... You know, if you enjoy what you see, please like, comment, subscribe. Either of those three actions, that's cool with me. And remember, as always, art is more than meets the eye. <laughs>